button has been pushed. It says that we're live, but that could be a lie. We won't know until we're live, or we won't know that we are live until I see it adequately represented in the studio. And I'm waiting. There it is. Let's check the audio. Sounds fine. Uh, do I sound okay? Hold on. Is the game audio substantially louder than I am? Because it kind of sounds like that, but I'm, it's actually kind of hard to tell for me. So, uh, I mean, I don't... It definitely sounds like it is roaring. If anyone in the chat could give me feedback on that, I think I might go ahead and just open up the advanced audio properties and, and just turn down that audio a wee little bit more. Just like the tiniest little bit more just to make sure that it is not completely overwhelming. And then also I should probably check everything and make sure that it is going to the correct tracks. Okay, everything should be piped in on track one, which is hopefully what the live stream output is set to. It is, okay. Okay, good, in that case we're, we're really getting somewhere now. My goodness. All right, so hopefully. Yeah, it sounds okay. Howdy, folks. How are y'all doing? My name is Reese. Don't comment on the absence of the beard and the mustache. So, when I trimmed it, it was all down to the same level, but the mustache just came back faster. This is how I cut my hair now. This is how I deal with it. I don't go to, like, a barber shop or to, like, a salon of any kind. Uh, I'm not about that life. What I do is I wait in about twice a year. Uh, when my hair gets long and kind of gross, I'll shave it all off. Just all of it, and I start over. So there's a period of time where I'm, like, weird and bald looking. And then it grows out, and it kind of looks okay for a while. And then it starts to get a little bit scruffy. And then it's too long again, and then I shave it all over, and I repeat. And the beard actually goes twice in that cycle. So about halfway through the hair growth, I'll go ahead and shave the beard again. And then it starts growing out again. And this has been my cycle for the last maybe two years. Uh, and I really don't know why. It's not a COVID thing. At no point, even at the height of COVID, could I not just go and get my hair cut. Because I, I live in Texas. We could just go do that. But I, I, I've always just... I've, I've never been one to care much about... Like, well, that's not true. When I was younger, I cared a lot about styling my hair. And I feel like it was post-high school, I just decided I don't have the patience for this. So I run a brush through it till it's, like, in a tidy enough state, and I go out. And I've never cared about getting it trimmed. I'm just like, I'll, I'll whack it off. The whack the beard off. It'll be fine. So that's why my face looks like it does. And also, it's a bit dark. Look, I'm willing to acknowledge the fact that, yeah, the lighting situation is not ideal. But I've been having some, like, really bad eye strain issues that I think is associated in large part with the fact that I spend a lot of time staring at a, uh, a very bright screen. Oh, good. The app shift button doesn't work on my deck. Is the program not running? Stream deck. Where's that at? I don't even remember what it's called. Oh, it doesn't even appear to be installed anymore. I mean, it definitely was. To be fair, I don't remember what it's called. So, maybe it's not actually... I did... Oh, but you know what? Okay, that's a problem to solve later. We're not going to worry about that right now. Mainly because I don't have the, the power to do anything about it in the middle of a live stream. By the way, welcome to Tekken 2! This is more or less just a test stream. Yeah, okay, good. It still sounds okay. This is sort of a test stream, because if you were here Sunday, you'll know we tried to stream Hogwarts Legacy, and we could not. Uh, that was, I mean, it's a long story, and maybe I'll get into it as we go, but for right now, I wanted to fire this up, and I wanted to just play, I wanted to stream, and I wanted to see how it looked, and how it behaved, and if it behaved, and please disregard what I just did there. The colors probably got wacky for a second. I apologize. Howdy, Maria Moore. Oh my goodness, welcome. I have not seen you join a stream in a long time. A very long time. So much. I uh, thank you so much for joining. And of course, you are a legendary supporter. So thank you for that legendary support. It is greatly appreciated. Now, as I was saying, we're going to uh, do a little thing here in Minecraft. A uh, rare opportunity, we're caught up with the videos that I've recorded, and I thought, you know what, it could be fun to do something live. And that seemed like a pretty good way 
to test and make sure that the, the newish streaming setup was working okay. And uh, Maria Amor, if you could let me know how I sound and whether or not I am being drowned out by harsh winds, because it kind of sounds like I am. Uh, Loot Lobster, welcome to the stream as well. Today's goal. We've been technically having the ability to build one of these for a long time, and we've just not done it yet. The PESU, or the P-E-S-U, and I probably should have pulled up the stats on this a while ago. Hold on, let me do that. IC2 Classic P-E-S-U. We're going to go uh, pull that up. That should be on the... How do I get to the wiki? I had it saved at one point on a different computer before I wiped it. Never mind. Uh... <laughs> How do you get to the IC2 Classic wiki? It's not obvious. Like, Googling it doesn't just bring it up. Oh, here we go. You gotta go to the Curse Forge. And then from the Curse Forge, I'm almost positive. Yep, we hit the wiki link. Why this doesn't just show up in Google, I don't know. There we go. So that takes us to GitHub. And from here, I can do a word search, or like search the page, a find in page search for P E S U, or P E. Is that what it is? Yeah, P-E-S-U. Why does it not show up? Okay, hold on. Um, storage? Energy storage? Storage and transmission? Pow EU generation? It's got to be in here, then. Uh, I mean, I guess it might not be. It could be in some sort of a... Would it be under storage units? Bat box, uh, energy, MFSU. Why is the PESU not listed here? It's literally not in here. We've got Batbox, MFE, MFSU, oh, Plasma Energy Storage Unit. That's what it is. Okay, here we go. The voltage, right? So a Batbox is 32 EU, an MFE is 128, an MFSU is 512, and a Plasma Energy Storage Unit is 32,768. So it's got a really high output on it. Uh, high enough that we might blow things up if we're not careful. Also, it has a capacity. So, you know, Batbox, 40,000 EU, MFE, 600,000, MFSU, 10 million uh, plasma energy storage. Is that a billion? So that's the hundreds place, thousands place, million, a billion, a billion EU. Now you might be wondering, geez, Reese, why would you want to do that? Well, the reason is, as many of you will know, and let's actually take a nap because it's dark and the night is full of terrors or whatever the lady with the red hair says. I don't, maybe this will make the sleep stop or the rain stop. It won't. The rain just won't stop. I think we might be under, like, a witch's curse or something right now. It's getting a little bit out of control over here. Thank you for the feedback, Maria Moore, on the sound work. I'm glad to hear it. Rangers of Mordor, welcome to the stream. And big pogs to Purple Lemon, another one of our legendary supporters. As many of you will know, the current plan is to transform this entire facility into an automation facility. And I've already sectioned off this square here to be where we will automate the construction of solar panels. So so we're going to have a section that builds solar panels, and then the next tier, and then the last tier, and then the final tier. Plasma can destroy the world, but Maria Moore, that sometimes you just got to play with fire to make things burn. That, mm, sometimes you have to make things burn to cook a, an egg. Sometimes you got to burn an egg to make an omelet. Something like that. So somewhere in there, there's some logic and some reasoning. So we're going to need a lot of power for that. And we're going to need a lot of sto power storage for that. And really, that's just kind of an excuse because I want to build it and it looks cool. One other thing to address, though, before we get any further into the stream, is that in the last video that we did, I went ahead and changed all of the glass in here to the white stained glass, specifically the panel, which is a bit unfair because we immediately hopped into chisel and I did not give adequate attention to the vanilla white stained glass which actually looks quite nice and in fact having looked at it i think i like it a little bit better than what we ultimately went with now you might have noticed a little bit of hitching there in the performance and that made me a little bit nervous too but the game didn't crash so we're going to carry on i went ahead and converted a window to this and i've got to say i like it and i wanted to do this live so that i could get some feedback because it looks i, I like it but i kind of want to know what you folks think I still think that the, you know, just switching to the white stained glass definitely helps with the building looking like a building and not just having a bunch of random holes in it. But, uh, I don't know, I, I, the panel type 
It doesn't do it for me the way the streaks do. The streaks look even more present and glass-like, and even less like a hole, in a way that's kind of hard to put into words. If we fly outside and we look at it, and this might be hard to tell because, again, it is raining and miserable outside. I don't know. That just looks more solid to me, in a way, even I understand that it's translucent. So much more so than even this. And I, I don't, I'm thinking about changing the entire base to it, and I'd love to know what you folks think. So that's that's the question. Do we stick with the panel, the chiseled panel, or do we s switch over to the vanilla, just beautiful white stained glass? Uh, that, that would be my preference and what I'll probably end up doing, but I'd like to hear what you folks think. Uh, same, I like both, but the plain stained is better. Okay, good, good, good. I, I didn't make my, my luscious beard disappear. It's just on hiatus. I promise you it will be back. It'll be back along with the rest of my hair. It's just the easiest way to deal with, you know, cutting my hair is to just cut it all. I, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, no deals. Need help with getting the crusher up and running. Or do you need help getting the rock? Yeah, so in the last episode, we were following some instructions. Possibly yours, actually, Ranger of Mordor. I, I followed a couple of different comment sets. And uh, what we ultimately came up to is we got a charge feeder unit, but we cannot build the next, it needs like a shunt, I believe, is what it was called. And uh, we simply cannot build it because we do not have lead, and I've yet to find lead, and I don't know where to find lead. One thing I haven't thought about doing is just going to literally any village and seeing if there's a railcraft individual there who would like to trade with me. And now that I've said that out loud, that seems really obvious and like something we should do. I'm wondering, okay, I feel like the village that we went through and that we recently did the whole rebuild project on, if there was lead there, we would have taken it, so I don't think we'll bother going over there, although it would be nice at some point to check in and see how Naparu or whatever the fellow, Napier, how Napier is doing. Naparu is a Bionicle. He is a Onumatoran, maybe? I think he becomes a Toa, doesn't he? He's one of the Toa Ignaika, if I'm not mistaken. So I think we are approaching a village, yeah, right here. This is not Napier's village, which is over here. And have we found any other villages? It might be worth going to some unloaded chunks to see if uh, perhaps the reason we've not found lead is because it wasn't in the world generation in the very earliest versions of the pack, which is where we started. It, it might have been added since. Oh my goodness, Lucas Kitts is here now. Get another... Oh, hi, Kenzie. How you doing? Lovely to speak with you. I'll let another one of our... Yet another one of our wonderful <laughs> legends. Words are difficult sometimes. Welcome. We're only missing one now. We're only missing one legend from the chat, and they'll all be together. And when their powers combine, they become unstoppable. And there's nothing we can do to curb their rage. So, I guess what I'm looking for is anyone here that looks vaguely associated with the railcraft? So that, like, perhaps they can trade with me? Normally, they have very specific housing, though. I, I think they have, like, brick houses, and you know it when you see it. Is, is there anyone around here, though, who might have let? There's literally no one here. This, is this village abandoned? I hear people. Hello! How are you? Okay, that's an interesting trade. Not one I'm particular. Oh, seven emeralds for. Granted, it is an efficient. Uh, it's an efficient shovel. It's a highly efficient shovel. You look like you might be involved in rail. Oh no, you're an electrical engineer. That's fun too. That's fun too. Sorry, I mistook that. The coveralls for overalls. Speaking of overalls, you. Hi, how you doing? I've already talked to you, haven't I? A trackman. He's a trackman, everyone. Okay. So we can get 17 coal for an emerald, or 11 coal coke for an emerald. I was going to make fun of him and say those were the same. Uh, emeralds for track, again, not strictly useful. Uh, toolsmith, no. I, I'm, I'll perfectly, like, if you have just in here any at all, alloy smith. Wait a minute. No, not quite. Manual rolling machine, buffer stuff. See... I'd be happy to just steal some lead if he had some. He does have some absolutely incredible engineer's overalls, though. Which, I mean, what part of the body do those go on? What do those look like? Oh, those are actually pretty grand. I'm not going to lie. I do like those. I'm not going to wear them, though, because I'd rather have my armor. Uh, so, Envar, right? Nickel is a thing. A TNT cart, a mine cart, some track. I appreciate it, but what I really need more than anything right now is lead. That's not relevant to our current goal, 
which is to build a, a, P a PESU. But, you know, I guess while we're in the area, it doesn't hurt to look around. So again, like I said, I know the last village, the other village we've already cleaned out. What do you got? What, what are you all about? We've got another trackman here. He sells literally the exact same things. I'm not confusing you with the other trackmen, am I? Are, are there actually two trackmen? Have I been confused? Have I been confusled? Have I been misled? No, they just have the exact same trades. What are the odds of that? That is insane. Lead is next to iron and silver at times. I even tried to let you know in the comments. You passed by it down in the mine. Down in the mine, a light blue. Wait, what? Wait, what? What are you talking about? Hold on. Okay, you're telling me that I found some last time in the mines? Where? Was... At what... At what? Do you have a timestamp, perhaps, in the video of where that happened? Also, what volcano is this? Have we been to this volcano? Is this just another volcano? Well, fortunately, it doesn't look like this one has any sort of in, uh, pigment activity. So that we might build another... I don't know why I keep building nether portals near volcanoes. Maybe it's my fault. Maybe if I stopped doing that, we'd stop having, like, pigment empires spring up all around us. Where on earth is my home? Oh, hold on. This is Andesite Island here. Yeah, there's a structure. Boy, it's a little bit broken, though, isn't it? I'm, I'm basically traveling by mini-map at the moment. I can more or less see... Oh, yeah, here we go. Perfect. We've made it back. So, you're telling me that if I go back down into my own little mines here, uh, there's a possibility, a chance, that I might come across some lead. And I even wandered past it in the last one. So, I mean, my only issue with that... Okay, I can't close that door, that's fine. Is that... Um, why did we never come across it before? If we spend so much time digging down here, you know what I mean? I mean, what does lead even look like? I've never seen this before. Where's the lead ore? Uh, nether lead ore. That's the only one that even shows up if I look for lead, lead ore. Like, if I type in lead, it doesn't even show me vanilla lead ore. Like, it doesn't actually exist. Like, it's all a myth and legend. Yeah, I'm with you, Maria Moore. Uh, it, clearly, it was a poor decision on my part to to build the portals. I mean, that's obviously on me. I, I should have known better. Portals, lava, nether, only bad can come from that. I, I, I don't think there's any... I don't think there's any lead down here. There, there'd be only tin and aluminum. There's just... I, I mean, also, that other ore that we could never find. I still can't remember what it was. It was the reason we were building a rolling machine in the first place, was to bypass needing... Uh, was it sulfur? I think it was sulfur we could never find. So much aluminum, though. Gosh, there's so many just like, various ores down here that... Man, I would have had a great time mining all of these once upon a time, but it's kind of useless now that we have a machine. So 3339 is the timestamp. And is that in the last video? Hold on, I'm going there right now. Let's see. I can definitely... 3339. I can backtrack to that position. <laughs> Hold on, let me bring up my own video. No, I don't want to hear myself, that's awful. 33... So 33... Oh, that's 3039. 33... You can't even get it in the end, apparently, and in the nether. You got a 0 0.07%. So 3339 is just me talking about getting it in the end, or in the nether. Is that what you're referring to? Are you saying that we need to go to the nether? Because I will do that. I will just go there. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to the nether. I understand that I said we were going to build a PESU, and I still plan on it. That that plan has not been, like, canceled. We're just... If we can just go to the nether real quick, and we'll bring a destruction catalyst. We won't be there long. We're going to go ahead and clear out our inventory. We don't need to take all these various different things with us, uh, including the white stained glass. We're going to hold on to the engineer robes, though, because those might be useful. You never know. It might be one of those things we're wearing the engineer robes because they're from the correct mod pack. Will uh, boost our uh, chance of finding them.
I'm sorry? It's reversed. So it's on the top. Wait, it's on the top of. Wait, what do you try? I, I'm confused. We're going to the Nether. Let's go. Everyone, hold on. Hold on to your hats. It's gonna be fine. Let's make sure that we've got our destruction catalyst. Excellent. All right. I've not been over here since they started putting up this wall. That can't be right. I see through. I see through your. Ugh, whatever. I don't care what they do. It's nice to know that they it takes them a while to build these projects. Though. Look, they gave up. They're not they didn't even finish. Lazy. Although I guess if the idea was to sort of repel the invasion of the Endermen, they've done a good job because they've basically walled them off for the most part. Although Endermen can teleport. Like they can just teleport in. I don't know how effective a wall is going to be against an enemy that can just be in one place and then be in another place in like a like a blink. Oh, you found sulfur in the end as well. This might be it, folks. This might be the place. So, I mean, what? Do I need to go up? It's another gold. Another quartz. Do I need to... I, I, what is this? What are you? Nether lead. It's literally right there. It's literally just right... It's right here in front of us. We've done it, everyone. What, what an exciting day. We're going to mine some of this up right now. We didn't even... Well, that was unfortunate. Another iron ore. I am curious now, though, whether or not we could actually find... Uh, t tons of nether quartz around here. Goodness, tons of nether quartz. Nether gold, nether... I mean, is it possible to find sulfur? You say you found sulfur here, but, like, where? Let's see. Because if we could just skip directly to having sulfur, and I spelled it correctly, then we would never actually need to build this other thing that we're building. Nether lead, absolutely, I'm with you on that. Okay, let's get out of here. I, I don't like this place. And it doesn't like me ever since I set off that nuke. And also, I, I mean, am I going to get in trouble again? Because the last time I came here in Mind Ores, I got in trouble for allegedly stealing the property of the pigmen. And there was a whole to-do about that. I had to go, like, steal an egg for them. And then there was a whole to-do about that as well. And there was a war... And I had to go kidnap a baby dragon. And then someone made the point that I put the ender dragon egg inside of the, the tablet over here. So I could have just gotten another one and made everyone happy and gave everyone a dragon egg. But that did not occur to me in the middle of the story. All right? I apologize. Oh. Pay no attention to that. I was just visiting. I didn't take anything. I promise. They've got this system rigged. No matter how I go in, I'll always come out right in front of Judge Pork and have to explain myself. I'm not about that. All right, so here's the issue right now, okay? Here's the thing. This is broken, and I've not quite figured out how. Someone left a comment explaining it, but basically it produces infinite iron dust right now, and I think I could reproduce it and create an infinite EMC machine, and I might make a video about that. Because if you look over here at the iron, look, it goes to two and then three and then two and then three and then two and then three and i don't know where the other iron is coming from it's not coming from inside of here it's not coming from an internal or external source it just kind of seems like it's a bit bugged and it just runs infinitely and that's not a bad way to generate i mean look it does two every like half second it generates 512 emc that's pretty good. That's pretty decent. I mean, it's not as good as the EMC generator in the basement, but I'm not mad about it either. That's, that's a pretty respectable amount of EMC. Uh, I don't want to ruin that, though, is what I was trying to say, so we're just going to directly put this up, and it'll still give us doubles. Uh, we would be getting quadruples, though, if we'd done it differently. So that's our lead ores, and again, we'll just put those up. And now we have lead ingots. And now we have infinite light ingots. How fun is that? So to build shunt wire, we need to combine that. So I think I put a lot of that stuff up here. I think it was that, and then what was it, tin plates? And then just, I, I guess, from memory here. Or not even from memory. We'll just pull the recipe in. Ah, paper. Gotta have paper. If you're not wrapping your shunt wire in paper and risking, like, severe fire damage, then what are you doing with your life, honestly? All right, that's the recipe. Pull it in there. Do the thing. Do the, do the, do the. Why? Why can I not do the metal rolling? 
Yes, naturally. See, a lot of you probably thought that would take me a really long time to notice, but I figured it out almost immediately. So good on me there. Pat's all on the back all around. Watch this. I'm going to do this from memory now. I've stared at the recipe enough. I get the general idea. Make me some charge shunting wire. Transfer charge over short distances. Nice. And then we can get rid of that. And you do what? Converts industrial craft energy. Perfect. So we can just plug that in. Presumably like that. And then we can fetch ourselves some glass fiber cable. And we'll just affix that to the ceiling here. And what we hope is that it doesn't blow up. Okay. All right. Nothing's blown up yet. Sometimes that'll happen. So what do I need to do with this? I've already forgotten. I think what we were trying to get was sulfur. And what we determined was that sulfur is really rare. But if we put, like, let's say a blaze rod, there's a 50% chance we're going to get some. And it has an EMC value. So this could be it. This might actually be, uh, let's see, Blaze Rod. Uh, how many episodes, how many months later has, ha has this happened? And here we go. We're not going to panic. We're not going to freak out or anything. We're just going to be patient. We're going to wait. Do I need to apply a redstone signal? I remember that being in the instructions, maybe. Hold on. And we got to put the power on this thing. Oh, that's it. That's it. It's working. It's working. Yeah, boy. Turn it off. Was that just the sound this thing makes? It was quite loud. All right, though. Look at that. We've got some sulfur. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, the, then the question now is, do we do the PESU or do we make a big battery? I mean, it's been a long time uh, coming. A gaming senior just watched the episode. Well, by the way, welcome to the chat. Just watched the episode uh, yesterday where we were going for the sulfur. So it's not been a long time for you. But for me, I mean, I got to try to find that episode now. Hold on. Let me go to my videos and I'm going to search for Tech It 2. And I remember that one had a particularly just dour title. A real downer of a title. Hold on. Tech It 2. Searching in these things is a challenge. Okay, here we go. So we are looking at episode number. Was that before episode 10? Was that before tonight's tutorials? Mm, no, it couldn't have been. It must have been after that. But I don't see it. I can't remember what it was called. It had such a like a dramatic title. It wasn't plastic problems, I don't think. Eggy esque. I feel like episodes are missing here. They're not. I'm going through them one at a time now. God, these things have some fantastic titles, might I just say. Uh, teleportation tests, Speaker's Suggestions, Lunar Lunacy, Moon Mission, Perilous Penalty, Super Solar, Tonight's Tutorial, Excellent Equipment, Explosive Experiments, Reactor Refinement, Transmutation, Tablet, Alluring Armor, Nether Nukes, Tiny Tor, Nuclear Nightmare, Builder's Boon, Possessive Doors, Equivalent Exchange, Maddening Malarkey, that's the one! September 10th, 2022! Seven months in the making was this experience. Oh. Oh my gosh. Wowzers. Well, folks. 
cats on the back all around because we did it. Kind of, kind of. I mean, what we've managed to do is just get a stack of sulfur, which I will now hold in my inventory for the remainder of the video. Just as like a, a, a hey, look at us, look at us go. I'm trying to remember how to build the battery. I have a vague recollection of what you got to do. Hold on. Let's try from my memory real quick. Nobody tell me. I'm going to actually try from my memory. I'm going to reach back to uh, t <laughs> to Tech It Legends and see if I can recall what the process was here. So first off, let's get some gunpowder. And it's a darn shame. Oh, this does. Okay, blocks of sulfur do have an EMC value. So we will never need to build this more than once, which is handy. So we have that now. And don't go in there. Hold on. No, I did say I was going to hold on to this for the remainder of the episode, but I take it back. I'm just going to hold on to a block of sulfur. And then we have this block of sulfur. And then we need water, I think. And I might be misremembering what we're about to do here. But if you allow me to take a moment in the basement, I'm going to... I mean, I guess we can do this inside. I, For some reason, I remember there being a bolt of lightning. But maybe that's my imagination. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. I don't know. We don't take the risk inside, though, do we? Don't want a lightning hole in the ceiling. We'll come down here to this creeper. How you doing, pal? And uh, we're going to dig ourselves up a little 3x3 three three grid. Possibly this is what we do. Again, if I'm wrong, don't tell me. We're going to put down our block of sulfur. We're going to fill that in. And then we're going to take our water. And we're going to make a real quick and dirty infinite water source. So we can fill in the rest of this. Oh, I've done it wrong. Okay, there we go. And then I think what we do is we get a flint and steel. <laughs> but we're not going to steal anything. No, I've done it wrong. This is not what you do. This is not what you do at all. Yes, it is! I did it! I told you! You all doubted me, but look at that. In the end, we got there. There we are. So now we can get ourselves a bucket of sulfur sulfurous acid. Yeah, that's what we wanted. Nice. Okay, how much of this do we want, though? Uh, and how much of it there is there? And, and how many buckets? Let's see. I don't know if it's one-to-one. -one. Like, I don't think there's nine sources in here. Or eight sources it would be, I guess. Apparently, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, it is one-to-one. -one. All right. Well, in the end, we got there. We did it. All right. Now we're going to head inside. And we're going to see... If I can figure out what I did to all those battery components. Because when we built the big battery, all of the different battery components had an EMC value, and now they don't. So, fortunately, I did hold on to all of the pieces that we built. So we do still have our power taps, our controller, and our walls. Which I don't think is enough to build a very large battery. But we can build just a little one and, and give it a shot. And see whether or not it works. So... We're going to build it right out here in the open just for the sake of testing. And I think the smallest one you can build is about yay wide. And then you got to do this. And actually, now that I think about it, I don't even know if this will work. Because for memory, don't you have to put like some sort of like you got to put something in here, like graphite or graphene or, or something along those lines. And if we only have one acid, it's not going to hold a whole lot of power. But if all we're doing right now is trying to see whether or not we can make it hold power and whether or not it works, then that's perfectly fine. That, that'll that be good enough. Looking in here, we do have battery electrode. That's what I'm looking for. That's the stuff right there. That's the silver tuna. And then we're also going to want to build some more battery wall because we're running out. And everything you need for it has an EMC value. So, uh, obsidian. Ooh, we got it. Gold. I say gold. Hot, hot. We got it. We're going to actually get rid of this. I know I said I was going to hold on to it for the remainder of the video. But you need to learn at some point that most of what I say is lies! Not really, though. Not, that's, that's an exaggeration. Not all of it. I mean, it wasn't really a lie so much as it was just... I mean, I had good intentions of holding on to it for the remainder of the video. But I even when I said it, I also kind of knew that if push came to shove, it would be one of the first things I removed from my inventory to make space. 
So I mean, I mean, it, 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 I wasn't planning on deceiving all of you. It's just kind of how it came out in the wash. All right. So right here, we're going to go ahead and put down our battery controller, and then we are going to have our two electrodes. We're going to put down our acid. We're going to put down our power taps, and one of these needs to be positive, and one of these needs to be negative. And there's a way to change them, and I don't remember what it was, so we'll come back to that later. I just want to make sure that we can see the multi-block structure form. So, here we go. Boom! Okay! There we go, we've got ourselves a multi-block. It'll store a maximum of 150, is that million RF? Not too shabby. And then changing these from positive to negative is a trick <laughs> that might require, let's see, we do have like a standard wrench. We do have a build craft wrench as well. That seems more likely. We have a rail craft uh, crowbar. Let's see which one works here. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. None of those are it. That's fine. I'm not too pressed. I'm not too pressed at the moment. I'm so sorry for your ears, Maria Moore. I apologize so much. Do not drink the sulfurous acid. Listen, I'm not planning on it. It's not high on my list of things to do tonight, is drinking sulfurous. I mean, I'm. listen, I can't say never. I'll never say never, you know. I was told not to by Justin Bieber like 10 years ago, and I've, I've carried that with me longer ago even. You know, I've never been one to avoid fire or go through flames or whatever he says. Do I need to, like, shift right click? Shift right click is the answer, everyone. Now, here's the real question. What side do I plug power into, and which side does power come out of? A lot of people don't know this. Batteries are not like your wall socket. Your positive and negatives are a little bit different on a battery. Um, but I don't know how that applies to Zeta Industries. I guess the one thing we could do that would be, like, quick and dirty... That, quick and easy would be a better way of phrasing that. Is to just, like, get power over here... And do I have enough of these to reach? And the answer is going to be no. I can't believe that I do. So we're probably going to have to go build some more of these. Uh, these are the MV cables. Didn't I build some, like, heavy-duty ones? I thought I built the, the top-tier ones at some point. I guess I never got around to that. I guess because they didn't work. MV cable. And then if we have a look at that, it's not, it's not difficult. What if I want to build the top dog? Let's just build well, let's just build the top dog. Why would we not? We do have to build a bunch of MV ones first. So I guess we'll just build a bunch of MV ones first and then maybe later we'll turn them into the top dog. Uh it doesn't actually matter at the moment. We're not moving around enough power for it to matter. This is cool that we got this working though. Uh Ranger of Mordor. I I I when listen. Hold on. Can I like somehow heart one of your comments? No, I can put you in a timeout, but that's not particularly useful. I want you to comment on this archive when it when it goes out, and I'll, I'll like your comment. Just comment and say, I made that happen, and then I'll heart your comment and tell you you did. Because gosh, gosh darn it, did you ever. Okay, so we need some redstone, some silver, and some glass. All of that can be acquired with relative ease from right inside of here. Uh, redstone, silver... My voice cracked a little bit there, but we're not going to focus on it. I'm asking you all to please not focus on it. There we go. Now, I got a comment from someone, I think in the episode where I talked about the battery, telling me that the battery was broken. And I don't know if I believe that. I, I and Also, that was like an older comment, so it's possible if it was broken, it's not broken anymore. Let's see. So, does the plus... Is that input or is that output? Let's get a, let's get a, let's get a free hand. It, uh, let's get a free hand. No power is going in. Okay. Well, that didn't work. What about plugging it into the negative? Does negative allow power to go in? Nothing yet, but there's something else to consider, which is that currently we haven't named this yet. Input? I don't know. And then we allow max power throughput, right? Okay. All right, that's fine. Nothing still, but we're not giving up hope yet. Um, what if we put it over here on the plus, and we set that to input? 
and we do maximum transfer, right? So like the maximum amount of power going in. Okay, now it's technically working, but it is both going up and down. So let's break that one. Boom! We got it, everybody! We got it! Oh, I just got the comment about shift-click to change... Oh, no, that was a few minutes ago. Okay, I was gonna say, wow, the, the stream is way behind, but it's not. It's just my brain. Boom! We got it working! It's absolutely functional! And it kind of makes sense. It works the way a battery would. The charge comes out the negative. That... it... I'm so pleased. <laughs> I'm so pleased! This is great! What, what we can do now is, instead of... And we're gonna go down to the basement to kind of demonstrate this. Instead of having to have one of these uh, big electric flux generators at every single station, we can just have a bank of them. They can dump all of their power into the big battery. And then we have the big battery uh, run power. Hang in there, buddy. Come on, hold it together. <sighs> okay, I'm okay. I'm not dying or anything. It's fine. Ah, we can have the big battery run powered everywhere we need it. And we're going to need it in certain places. Because we're going to probably continue to use things like the auto workbench. Because I'm a big fan of the auto workbench. It's super simple and it works really well. Now, one thing I would like to do is maybe improve the way that we transport goods around. I'm not really a big fan of using... Like, I mean, for water, it's fine to use the Buildcraft pipes. But I don't want to use the Buildcraft pipes in situations like, say, down here in the basement proper. Where this just goes, and sometimes if this is full, they end up stacked on the ground. I don't want that. I want to avoid that actively as much as possible. So, what I would like to do is... Um, I'd like to figure out some other methods for moving items around. And if we look up transport, we've got some different like options here. Let me move this other keyboard to the side. Uh, let's see. So we have all the build build craft transport pipes, and those are fine. We have other pipes as well from other mods. So we've got logistics pipes. I've never used in all of my life logistics pipes and I don't actually know how they work or if there's a way to use them to move items around. Manually request items. See what I want to use that? Active requester. Request logistics pipe. Put a chest on the pipe to catch items coming out. I, I, don't know what the, I don't know what you're trying to tell me here. I'm not sure what you're trying to communicate to me. A crafting pipe can send additional inputs here. What do you mean, satellite logistics pipe? I, what are you trying to tell me? Supplier logistics automatically fills a chest or machine. See, that sounds like what we would want. Can get items from any item source. Ignores providers on the same block. See, I mean, that sounds like what I want. But what... It sounds like you're just speaking gibberish to me right now. You want a basic logistics pipe. You want a logistics programmer. You want me to build an FPGA. I know what those are. I've, I've looked into crypto before. I know what's going on. I, I don't know. I'll figure that out later. That's not for today. Today we're going to build a, a, a PESU, which is going to require that we maybe stop putting all of our UU matter into here and maybe start collecting some of it because we've already got a number of plasma cells. In fact, we've got a lot of plasma cells and we really probably don't need any more. Can I just like turn this thing off? I'd like to continue generating the UU matter. Maybe what we can do is we'll just go in here and we'll grab a, a lover and we will just manually deactivate Actually, if I turn this off, is it also going to turn off my compacting recycler? That would be inconvenient, and I wouldn't like that. You know what I could do is I could just unplug it. Hold on. There we go. Just kill power to it. Presumably, that'll do the trick. And so now, hopefully, ideally, when these actually spit us out of UU matter, they'll just go in here and just stay there. And to signify what I've done, I'll put a piece of glass here. And then that way, I'll remember that the glass needs to be replaced with a glass fiber cable in the future if we want to use it again, potentially. Or I'll forget. Also, our uh, pigment is gone, I just realized, which is a darn shame because we rather liked him. He was a funny guy, and I don't know why they keep vanishing on me. 
It's uh, enough to make a grown man tear up a little bit, but not much. All right. Inventory is a mess. Let's go see if we can build a Pesu. Let's take the correct path. I had plans for these little offshoots. We were going to do th Oh, no. What do you want? What is this about? Have I not done enough for you people? Leave me alone. To be fair, I, I, I did kidnap like an endangered species that they've been charged to look after. All I really needed to hear was uh, Maria Amor uh, Maria Amor telling me that uh, she also is a fan of this glass. Oh my gosh, it's it's kind of it's kind of styling. It's kind of almost like a statement, isn't it? I might be like really on board for this in a major way. We're not gonna do the whole base right now. I'm just gonna kind of touch up everything around here. And then, uh, shoot. I thought that was gonna be the big clever move and I was very obviously wrong. That corner there. We can make up for it over here. Watch this. This is the big clever move. Well, that's silly's move to awkward sections. We're just going to go with that for now. We're going to just kind of feel that out for the remainder of the live stream. See how we like it. I kind of really like it. I want to see it from outside. I understand that it's dark and rainy. But... Oh, yeah. That looks fantastic, doesn't it? That actually looks fantastic. I like it. We're going to stick with it. We're going to roll with this. We're going to carry on. Mm. All right, beverage loaded. Let's try to build a Pesu. It might not necessarily go well. We'll see. Uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is build reinforced stone and an iridium plate, and that'll give us eight iridium stones. Have we done this before? That sounds very familiar to me. We do have iridium plate. I don't see any... Oh, oh we do have reinforced stone as well. Oh, and we do actually have quite a bit of UU matter up here. Like a shocking amount of UU matter. I didn't know that we had that much UU matter. All right, well, that's great. That's a good start then. Let's see how far we can get in this task and see whether or not we can get there. Myco5, welcome to the live stream. How are you doing? All right, Iridium Stone, eight of those. We don't need any more of that. And then we have two iridium plates left. It's almost like it was meant to be. Next up is the Pezd. So actually we need two more iridium plates per one of these. So we need six more iridium plates. How do I manufacture you? What are the instructions? We need to have, well, not uses, recipes. Advanced alloy, diamonds, and iridium ore. All right, so here's the deal. Okay, so one of those is going to give us one, two, three. We need four per plate. So hold on. That means we need two. So we need eight. 16, 24. Okay. Okay. We don't have enough. We just don't have enough. We do not have enough UU matter. I'm realizing now as I've, I've started this process. The, because the issue is we need three of these pests, right? And that means that we're going to need... Hold on, let's do our math again. So three. Three times two is six. Times four is uh, 24. And each one of these requires... What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What is seven times 24? Where's my phone? Let's see. Seven times 24 is 168. So a little over two and a half stacks of UU matter. We just we just simply do not have enough, which is a darn shame. It's a good thing. I'm just going to throw this out there while you're all here and watching. It's, it's actually an incredibly fortunate thing. <laughs> that Ranger of Mordor hopped in to let us know how to do the big battery. Because otherwise, I mean, the only plan we had for today was to do the Pezd. And we simply cannot by virtue of the fact that we cannot afford it. So you've basically saved the stream here, Ranger of Mordor. Also, thank you, Purple Lemons. I also like the glass. I, I think I'm kind of I think I'm kind of committed and invested at this point. 
Yeah, exactly like that, Mike 05. Exactly. Like the same number of hours in a week. That's that, that's actually how much time it's going to take us to get that much you, you matter, in fact. So we're not, I mean, we've got a stack. We only need another stack and a little bit more than a half. If we go downstairs, we're not, how did you come off? How, how, oh, we can't put a button on this type of glass. And then also, I just realized that these pieces back here did not change even from the bubble glass, which was ages ago. Let's go ahead and get this destruction catalyst back out. And move it up. That's literally the wrong tool, and I even said as I was doing it, the destruction catalyst. I don't know. Sometimes I just make the wrong decision, and there's no explaining it, and I, I can't put into words an explanation for my actions. It could have been worse. Imagine if it had been fully charged. Let's all just take a moment to acknowledge the fact that that was nearly a horrible mistake. And fortunately, it was not. Let's open this up. We're going to get the correct tool out this time, the Mercurial Eye. There we go. We'll have to figure out what to do here now if I can't put my button there. Where else? Oh, I can put my button there. That also, I think, will open the chest, which is kind of funny. Uh, it's a, You know what? We needed to get some glass out of there anyway so that we could do the doors. Oh my gosh, have we finally done it, folks? After all this time, do we actually have invisible doors? Oh, it's, it's almost invisible. It's much closer than we've ever been before. I like it. I'm happy with it. Does you, you matter, matter? Wow, that's a deep philosophical question, and I think probably outside the bounds of a standard Let's Play. I think what you would want to do is you'd want to direct that to some of the great philosophers of our time. So, in fact, I don't think our time we could necessarily cover. It. You might want to go back in time and ask, like, Plato that. And his response will be, what is you, you matter? And you can tell him it's, like, from Atlantis. And I'll be like, oh, really? Because I heard about Atlantis from my uncle, who heard about it from some Egyptians when he was in Egypt one time. And he'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I've seen the Disney movie. And he'll say, what's that? And you can say, listen, buddy, I'm asking the questions around here, not you. And then you and Plato can get into a fist fight. And that would be pretty funny. And then that'll go down in history. You can, like, travel back to the future. Like in the movie, Back to the Future, you can use a DeLorean. And when you read your book, it'll have a little note in there about one time, Plato got into a fist fight with a guy who asked him about you, you matter. And no one ever knew what that meant. But Plato's response was that you, you do matter. And I, I do matter. And all, all do matter. And it was really like a, a revolution of its time, you know? It really changed the fabric of humanity, that conversation, and that brief fist fight. And without it, we can probably definitively say that actually the Roman Empire might have fallen because, uh, wait, Plato wasn't from Rome. Where was Plato from? Was he? Plato wasn't Roman. He was way later than that, wasn't he? Where was Plato? Let's see. Philosopher. Greek philosopher. Okay, so no, not later, earlier then. Or, I mean, I guess not, hold on, when, where was he? Where, where, where was this man? He could have still been, like, in, at the height of the Roman Empire, he could have technically been in Greece. Um, so he died in 348 BC in Athens, Greece. Okay, well now we know, we've all learned a thing about history. Good on you, Plato. You, you made it. You really held in there. Nothing really matters. Thank you so much, Mike 05. Thank you so much for bringing music to our life. I appreciate it. I mean, you could have picked like a, a happier song. You could have done like a Moulin Rouge. You know, for a man who went back in time and had a fist fight with Plato, you're actually, you're kind of bringing down the mood. I thought you'd be a little bit more energetic about things. You know? I don't know. Let's go. Let's get out of here. We're leaving. Ranger of Mordor lives in the asteroid belt. What, like in real life? Because that's actually kind of cool. I wish I could do that. I don't live in the asteroid belt. I live in... I, <laughs> I, just, I just live in normal Earth. I was going to say I live in Earth, and I'm like, that's not how that works. That's not how that works at all. You cannot live in the Earth. Well, you could. It's really warm, though, is the only issue. Well, I guess it depends on how deep you go. Sometimes it's a little bit cooler just under the surface. But if you go down deep enough, eventually there's like that molten iron core. And have you guys seen that scientists are now pretty convinced there's an additional core, that like an inner inner core that we didn't know about before, but that we're now pretty sure exists and we just aren't quite sure what it's made of yet? 
But like inside of the molten iron, there's something else. And maybe it's a different phase of iron, or maybe it's like a whole new different thing. And we're just unsure. I personally want to believe that it's energized protodermis at the core of the earth. I uh, maybe the Bionicle story wasn't about the ancient history. What happened here? It wasn't about the ancient history on a, of another world. It was about our future, right? So what if... The, okay, so do you guys know the story of Bionicle? I don't want to just wax on about the story of Bionicle if you guys don't already know. I, I also don't want to spoil it because there's like a lot... Okay, you know what? I think I can tell the, the Spherus Magna plot line, like the early history without spoiling anything. So on this planet in a distant or maybe not so distant galaxy... There was this planet called Spherus Magna, and there were these different beings that lived on it. You know, you had your Glatorian, you had your Agori, you had your ones that were the villains in the 2009 film that escaped me. It starts with like a V. Hold on. Agori, Glatorian, the third one. <laughs> Oh, we're going to the Biosector Wiki. <laughs> this is all fine. This is all good. Boda Magna. Bera Magna. Early history. Scrawl! It was the Scrawl, right? They all live on this world together. And they're all organic beings. Yeah, I watched the Bionicle movies on Bad at Games. Also, welcome to the chat. So all these organic beings are living on Spherus Magna, just having a good time. And at some point, they realize that they can start enhancing themselves with, uh, like, mechanical add-ons to basically make themselves immortal and live forever, which is what immortal means, so it was redundant to say both. And they all do that, and they all become these sort of bio-mechanical beings, and, and life is good. And then there's this other race of just super advanced Glatorian, and they start calling themselves the Great Beings because they're kind of full of themselves. They were the Plato's of their time, let's be honest. They were, they were the philosophers. And they kind of separated themselves from society. And at one point, they created the Elemental Lords to rule over society, kind of while they were busy with their machinations and, and everything. And at one point, they built a gigantic robot, but they couldn't power it. The power source was unstable, so it blew up and his body parts were littered all across the, the land. But that's not relevant for another many thousands of years, so don't worry about that. Eventually, while the great beings are off doing their thing, the, the residents of Spherus Magna discover this little pool of some kind of material bubbling up from deep below at the core of the planet, and they found out if you touched it, it either fried you to death, and you, like, died a horrible, painful, miserable death, or it transformed you and gave you, like, superpowers. And they dubbed it Energized Protodermis! And they thought it was cool to stick, like, animals and things in there and watch them transform, and it was kind of cool. And also they started, like, augmenting animals as well with biological or with mechanical components so that they could use them to war one another now because, of course, a war broke out over this material. And eventually, like, there was a bunch of fighting and things died, and uh, the great beings tried different measures to sort of end the war. But eventually they realized that, oh, actually, this stuff being mined from the core of the planet is destabilizing the planet. And at some point, the planet's going to blow up and it's going to be a little bit of a disaster. So that was a little bit of a problem. Yeah, I'm trying to repopularize Bionicle Purple Lemons. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm here for. Uh, so <clears throat> what they realize is the planet's going to blow up if they keep mining this stuff, but they can't stop it now. The, the Gory, the Glatorian, the Skrull, they're all, they're all over it. They can't be stopped. So what they do instead, the Great Beings, is they build another giant robot. Remember, the first one was a colossal failure because there was no way to uh, properly power it. The power source was unstable, but they realized they could fill it with energized protodermis from this... Oh, I'm starving to death. How funny. I didn't even realize. I just got so into this conversation. I'm just gonna go ahead and eat up. We're gonna be okay. So they fill it with energized protodermis as the power source. And they're like, okay, here's what we'll do. We're not gonna get everyone on the giant robot and then escape the planet. That would be ridiculous. A giant like arc ship no we're gonna send this giant robot into the stars 
and it's going to go around and it's going to explore the galaxy and it's going to look at other worlds and it's going to do like surveys and exploration and it's going to gather all of the knowledge possible and then someday the gigantic texas sized robot will return to spherus magna and use all that it has learned to repair the planet because it's going to blow up pretty much no matter what at this point that's their plan that's the great beings great plan all right the, the worder, I'm not entirely sure where Raymond Card is. As of right now, he's not around, and I'm perfectly content for him not to be here. If he shows up, it's all, it's going to be all kinds of chaos. But also, I mean, we might get lucky and he just won't be able to find me. Considering there's, like, pigmen living in weird shrine altars over there and a tower full of endermen, and I still don't know what over there. I'm kind of hoping that in spite of the fact I've got a giant, like, chalk white building, I'm, I'm not really drawing enough attention to myself for Raymond Card to find me. And if he does, we can go hide in the secret basement corridor, and he definitely won't be able to spot us. It'll be fine. Unless we had, like, a spy in our midst or something, which would be deeply unfortunate. But I can't imagine a world where any of my friends would betray me like that, you know? Uh, I think we'll probably be just fine. So... What happens? Well, the great beings realize that they've got to fill this robot with little bitty workers to keep it running. So they build these little dudes, they're just some small guys, and they call them the Matoran, and they're based on the Agori. And they are also biological and mechanical, like the Agori at this point. The Agori used to be all biological, but they've, they're like so mechanically altered at this point that they're like a, a new state of being. And these little Matoran are kind of like that. They actually build a bunch of different types of creatures to live inside of and maintain the robot, right? Because that's what you do. You don't, you don't need... I mean, they're kind of automated systems because they're not configured to have emotions or personality in any way. It's almost like they have an inhibitor chip on their brains to prevent that. And they're, they, they're, they're kind of ready to send this thing off into space. But one of the great beings has this brilliant idea. His name is Velika. Uh, Velika? I think it's Velika. And he sneaks on board the giant robot. And he says, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go along for the ride. And so right as the giant robot is leaving, the planet of Spherus Magna blows up. But it doesn't blow up in the way you might think. No, my friends. It's not as simple as planet blows up and everyone dies. Because this is bionicle. And it's weird. So what actually happens is as the robot flies away two balls of matter explode out of the planet and form perfectly round spheres leaving behind perfectly round craters. And these two spheres become the moons of Spherus Magna. But it's not Spherus Magna anymore. Now it's Barra Magna a desert world, and the two moons of Aqua Magna, which is covered in water. So when that one chunk broke out, a lot of the water just got onto it, and it's now orbiting. And then Boda Magna. So when that piece broke off, a lot of the jungles just got onto it. So you have a giant forest jungle planet, a giant planet of nothing but water, and then right in the middle you have the Barra Magna, which is just a desert where most things live. Gregory Wilker, welcome to Bionicle Recapped in Tekken. So the great, the, the, the Agori, the, the, the Skrull, uh, the Elemental Lords, they, they're all trapped on two of these worlds. No one gets on to Aqua Magna because that would ruin the story from 2001. We'll come back to that. But uh, either you're on Boda Magna or you're on Spherus Magna, or uh, sorry, Barra Magna now. And also, it, there's a dust cloud that forms. And if you've ever seen the Bionicle Unity Duty Destiny symbol, it is literally Barra Magna, the two moons, and the dust cloud. That is what that represents. That's what that is. So there's a fun bit of story for you there. So you got a giant robot hurtling through space now full of non-sentient but po potentially sentient life forms hurtling through space. Now at some point, the great being that stood aboard Velika, it's un I'm not sure if this was his plan all along, but he has this brilliant idea of thinking, hey, if I give all of the robots on board sentience, right? If I like remove their inhibitor chips and give them all the ability to think and feel, they might worship me like a god. And so he does that. 
but that doesn't happen because nothing ever works out for him the way he wants it to. By the way, he takes on the form of a Matoran, which is probably why no one worshipped him. Who's going to worship a Matoran? Instead, they all slowly start to realize that they're alive in this universe, and none of them know, none of them know that they are on inside of a giant robot. No, no, they're just going about their lives, having a good time and doing their duties. And they're like, man, Matt Nui must be a god. They don't know that it's a giant robot. They're like, this must be a god. And it's our duty, it's our responsibility, it's our destiny to uh, worship him. So they worship the giant robot instead of Velika. So it's unfortunate for Velika that his little scheme didn't pan out. God bless him, he tried. Uh, and of course, from that point, you basically get the Bionicle story you all know and love. Uh, Matt Nui is so busy exploring outer space and learning all about the universe that he just can't be bothered with the now sentient beings living inside of him. So he creates various uh, creatures. He cre yeah, yeah, the giant robot can create beings inside of himself now. So he creates the Makuta species, I'm sure you've heard of them, to create new Rahi to help service the world, right? got to have your pack animals and things and he creates the baraki to like these perfect beings to govern over the the universe and of course the baraki will naturally as happens over the course of thousands of years they become warlords as you do and then their little rebellion has to get squashed by the makuta and they get sent to the pit where eventually they get turned into, like, fish people for the 2007 storyline, where they've got the cryo shell doing all of the music. It's like, destiny is hard to me. You get how it works. So that's fun and wacky. But yeah, that's Bionicle. Bionicle's great. Where? How did I start this? How did I... How, how did this begin, folks? Was I going somewhere with this? Did this have relevance? Gosh, I wish I could remember. Was I was I trying to make a point? Was I just talking about Bionicle? I might have been talking about Bionicle. How good was the 2008 twist, though, when Matt and Nui woke up, but Bakuda had taken over his brain? That was pretty... I mean, you finally got to see what his plan was. How good was it when he killed Makuta by smashing him in the head with a moon? That was pretty good. It actually kind of depends on which version of the story you're reading. It was only a fragment of the moon, just kind of bumped his head. Because otherwise that would have destroyed all of Metra Nui. But in one of the comics, it's just Matt Nui is shoving his head into a moon and it's glorious. Boy, Bionicle's amazing. I love Bionicle. I have a Bionicle up there. Would you like to see it? I, I have Tahu and Liwa just up there for some reason. I don't know why. They're so cool. Dude, Bionicles are so cool. I love Bionicle. Bionicle's great. What am I doing? What What's happening right now? Let's take off all of our clothes and put on these. Look at us. Aren't we, aren't we beautiful? We do still have all of our isothermal gear on as well. So we kind of look a little bit silly. Oh my goodness. We were all, you were on a tangent. We all enjoyed it so much. We let you continue. Well, Maria Amor, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for everyone's patience with my tangent. I mean, I could tell you the whole of the Bionicle story. Because, I mean, what I told you there, that's just like the, the opening bit. Okay? I mean, then we get into the stuff in the Matoran universe with all the Makuta running around, the Viserac, and you've got the Matoran Civil War, and you've got all kinds of crazy stuff. <laughs> this is a tangent, sine and cosine. All right, no, listen, let's focus on the game here. So what we've determined is that, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to, at this time, utilize um, the, the UU matter in the way we want to. Should we build more mass fabricators? Someone recommended that we have the scrap make scrap boxes. And I was never sure what the advantage of the scrap box was. If anyone is watching... That would be that would be useful. Scrap. It's a separate word. Here we go. Scrap box. It's just a box of scrap. Okay, I see. Is is does it have a higher chance of? Is, is it the case that it's just more like dense for storage, or does it have a higher chance of giving you UU matter? I imagine it must. It must have a higher chance of giving you UU matter. Let's see. Scrap box. I see two. 
Oh, you know what? We're gonna actually have to go to the wiki, because I don't want IC2 Classic. Machines, machines, recycler, recycler, there we go. And then the advanced one is the compacting recycler. And then I don't see any mention here of scrap. So maybe we scroll down. Is there like a section for just reading about items? Do you matter? Here we go. Okay. Universal usable matter is an exotic type of matter that can be produced in a mass fabricator. Righto. Any mention of scrap here? Okay. You can accelerate UU matter production by using scrap and scrap metal. Where normal scrap acts as 5,000, metal scrap acts as 100,000 amplifier. Okay, so what you're telling me is that the scrap box has no relevance on this. amplifier being used for take results in the uh, it kind of seems like metal scraps what we want to do. How do we get scrap metal? Okay, so you get a recycler. Fair. So you get a scrap metal chunk. Scrap metal. Scrap metal blade. Hold on, I'm going, I'm bringing back up the chat. Scrap box is a loot box. It's like a lottery ticket that can give you diamonds and nether stars rarely. Oh! Okay, well that, then that's a different thing. And that's kind of fun. Let's let's do that <laughs> real briefly. <laughs> I mean, we don't have to. It, it, is there a possibility of it like going south? Is that is that a thing that can happen? Can it give us something bad? I, I suppose it could. This sounds like it'll be fun. Uh, let's give it a shot. We're basically wasting scrap at this point. Scrap box, baby. Let's see what we get. We got dirt, baby. Technically, it is grass. So that's better than dirt. If we didn't already have it, that would be actually pretty handy. All right. Give me diamonds, give me diamonds, give me diamonds! We got a wooden sword. This is why we don't gamble, everyone. There's there's, there's no good can come from it. Do not do not gamble. Um, go back in there. I guess what we need to do then... The gambling time. Yeah, no, it didn't go well. Oh, man, the worder. I never did find my chicken friend. And I actually lost the second chicken friend. I don't know where he went or what happened to him. I think that, I mean, we do still have a crab now. And in fact, I'm supposed to be naming, uh, I guess, all of the crabs after supporters. Is this you, Lucas Kitts? Yeah, Lucas Kitts is just down here. I guess we should go ahead and maybe name another one. Let's go ahead and do that. Since most everyone is in the chat right now, we might as well. Uh, and then while we do that... Oh! 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 Okay! Okay! I keep getting distracted. Scrap metal! That's what we want. What did this thing say? Mass fabricator. Amplifier. You can accelerate UU matter production by using scrap and scrap metal. This seems better. So it seems like what we could do is if we wanted to, we could have something generating iron axes or I don't know, whichever one of these is the cheapest. Uh, so probably the, the shovel. And unless, hold on, no, look, the output can be higher, right? So that's only going to give us a 50% chance of one. This is a 50% chance of three, five, eight... That's probably the move there. I'm trying to go through all of these and see if there is a possibility that one of these has either like a really high chance percentage or really high output. And it looks like our best bet is going to be having something generate iron chest plates, having that be dropped into a recycler, and then having the scrap metal. Hold on. Which, what, what do we want to focus on first? <laughs> what? I'm getting all these different things coming in. The random guy. No need to miss Tech It 2 anymore. It is here. All right. So we've got our recycler here. Right now, it is generating, getting infinite, um, I think from one of our upgrade containers, infinite cobblestone. And that is generating scrap. If we want to build scrap metal, what we can do is we can, I mean, first off, let's check inside of here and see if we have room for an import upgrade. We do. Okay. Put that back in there and keep that running for now. What we can do is we can get a... What are they called? Oh, they're right here on the screen. Yeah, we want like an energy collector. And then we want a condenser. And then an iron chest plate, if we have one. We've built one. Yeah, there we go. Right? Everybody's following me on this already. We just plop that up here. 
and we can put this right there and then finally put this on top and that's going to be really slow but we can accelerate that pretty quickly and pretty easily all right this will be really easy to to cheese if we want to and then the only other thing we're gonna need is an import upgrade which we might have one of already probably sitting around if we go over to the ic2 upgrades what have you got for me we've got redstone inverter upgrades we got energy storage upgrades we got transformers we got overclockers we do not have any import upgrades that is unfortunate they're not difficult to make though i mean what sticky piston base upgrade redstone torch can you go straight to like the super duper one no you may not it is not allowed the game says no you have to build the basic one first that's fine we do have some base upgrades and we might actually have everything else we need right over here inside of our industrial work table probably maybe I don't, I mean, once we add these we probably do clear that out can you go ahead and make me one of these bad boys can't find a recipe for sticky piston I'm just gonna I'm just you know what never mind I, I apologize for even bothering I'll do this myself sticky piston it's not like this is gonna be difficult watch sticky piston and then what was the other thing like a redstone torch I don't even know why I bothered I could do this so quickly on my own all right basic import upgrade and then if we want to get to the next tier we just need a couple of uh, wait a minute I'm confused what are you why would we want to get wait why why would we want to do this why would we want to turn it an import upgrade into an import upgrade what is <laughs> okay okay <laughs> whatever we're gonna just, just carry on right now oh i actually need to get two of these and a battery re-battery we should have a re-battery here probably in the mfsu let's take out teleporter put in mfsu and so that's going to have the recipe for nothing that I need. Generator, though, might. There's no battery recipe. Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah, there we go. Nice. So we can build ourselves the super duper basic import upgrade. All right, it's not basic. No, th this is the upgraded one. There's not, not really a whole lot super duper. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, <laughs> that's not too far from what we want it to do, is it? Uh, we actually want it to pull from the top. Is that a shift right click so it faces up? Or maybe that means it... No, I think that's correct. All right. So we'll take this out and we will configure this to... Oh, I mean, we're going to be getting rid of the cobble gen upgrade anyway. So, of course, we're going to have room for this. You're going to tell me I can't put this in here, though? I'm sorry? That's not even... What? What? Oh, what was I just trying to put in there? Was I trying to put an upgrade container in there? Why? Why was I trying to do that? Where did that even come from? Where did I get an upgrade container? Why do I have you? Oh, you're the thing we just... Never mind. Ne th listen. Listen. <laughs> Sometimes I have a moment, alright? So there we go. It pulled that in. Once this scrap is empty, we're going to see what happens. Come on, baby. I am confused. Um. Uh. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So, what I'm seeing here is that it's, it. You see, that doesn't help me any. I was not... I, I did not realize that what would happen was we would get iron. You know what I mean? Like, I thought we just had a 50% chance of getting scrap metal or nothing. I did not realize that it would give us iron. Which is not at all useful in any way even slightly. Look, it's bugged. <laughs> the, 
This has the same bug as the furnace upstairs. It's just infinite. I why? This serves no function. I what am I supposed to do with it? I, okay, so I've got an infinite iron now. Good job, everyone. We've bugged it. It doesn't do what we want it to. Ugh. Okay, well, hold on. What about iron inside of the recycler? What is? What were the odds of that? Hold on. So that only has one output, and that is scrap metal. All right. So I think what we can do is we can just swap this out with iron. Stop. S stop. Stop. Thank you. And we'll tell you to stop doing that, and we'll just put iron in here instead. Dang it, I put all my iron in here. Okay. This is, um... This is unfortunate. But also, this is probably going to end up being broken as well, so who cares, right? Uh, look at this. Let's see if this actually is also broken. It is decreasing. Sadly, it looks like it is working correctly. We're about to run out. Yeah, that is a shame. I was hoping it too would be broken. But it looks like it's working as intended. I don't know if there's a way to, like, cheese that and get it to break again. But that was actually absolutely glorious while it was working. So, we are generating, it looks like, enough scrap metal, though. We have... We have technically succeeded. First off, Nick Alvarez, welcome to the chat. How are you doing? There's a whole lot of conversations going in here. What? The warder says, why do I... Why do I feel like your chicken friend is working with Raymond Card? Who, Carl? Carl wouldn't do that. Carl would not... Carl wouldn't betray me. Carl's a good chicken friend. He's a good guy. I, I, I trust and respect Carl. I... I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say such things against him. I'm gonna do this real quick to generate more. There we go. That's running plenty fast, I think. That's generating about enough iron. We're gonna see what happens once this rolls out. So the boom, that one goes away. How are you doing? I wanna see whether or not this maintains the surplus. It looks like it is. I think the system's probably fine as is. I don't think we need to add anything else. It looks like uh amplification is really high but it also kind of looks like maybe it doesn't work the way that i was hoping it would where the amplifier the higher amplification does not make it go faster it just the higher amplifier lasts longer you know what i mean so you, you kind of get more mileage with the scrap metal it doesn't necessarily speed it up let me go back to the wiki and see if maybe or not okay yeah, so you get 5,000 and 100,000 amplification. So that's not a speed measurement. It's more so like a like a gas gauge, if anything. For each EU input into the mass fabricator, one amplifier is used. Each used amplifier converts into 5 EU when used, meaning that an input of 100 EU, 100 amplifiers are being used per tick, resulting in an additional input of 500. So it makes it more power efficient. Simple said... Amplifier makes the mass fabricator run six times as fast as without amplifier with the same energy input. Okay, all right. So it's high voltage energy. So the max input is 512, which I think is what we currently have going into the mass fabricator. I'll have to double check and see. We do have like a, a reader for that, don't we? We have some kind of device. The EU reader, as it is so cleverly called, uh, titled. About. It's it's in the range. 440. Maybe not quite 512. Oh, I think we can just right-click the machine as well. It'll tell us exactly how much. So we're not quite maxing it out at full speed. But also, I mean... Where is that power being drawn from? Here? Is it coming from the MFSU, which is dead? Because it's dark and rainy and there's no solar power? It must also be getting fed in from over here. I think this is also kind of piped in, if I if I remember correctly. So I don't know if we could really realistically get it up any higher than that, or whether or not it would matter. All right, well, you know what? We're generating UU matter. I think the only other option would be to build another mass fabricator. And, I mean, the compacting recycler... If we, if we add a couple more energy collectors, we could probably have the one compacting recycler. And we could probably stick it... I don't know if you can have two export upgrades, and whether or not it would round-robin them. You would like to think that it would, but I'm not sure if that would necessarily work. But it's an idea. It's certainly an idea. Why, why, why are you not functioning? Oh, you're, you're functioning. You're just a little bit on the slow side at the moment. Well, that's fine. As long as it keeps up. I, I'm just spitballing ideas right now. I, I haven't really settled on what we're going to do. 
How's your arm keeping up? <laughs> Thank you for asking. Uh, my arm is fine. For those of you who were worried about me, uh, as it happens, I did not have a stroke or heart attack or anything. Uh, I'm perfectly fine. I think I just, I think because of the way I was sitting, maybe just pinched off my arm and it started going to sleep in a weird way that I didn't recognize. But uh, otherwise, I am doing okay. Uh, thank you for asking. Why are all the sounds pitched down? Probably because I am talking. That, that would probably be right. How long has the stream been going? Nick, the stream has been going for an hour and 24 minutes. Okay, cool. So we got that done. Now here's my question to all of you. Before coming down here and deciding to do this, what other task did I say I was going to do? Because this was the task that I decided we were definitely going to get done. Crabs. Never count out the crabs. That's what we were about to do. We were about to go crab hunting. Not fishing, mind you. Crab hunting. Alright, what am I trying to get? Iridium? Do you matter? I think I'm trying to get UU matter. I had more UU matter in my inventory at one point, didn't I? Where did it go? Did I put it in this bag? Oh, we have more UU matter than I thought we did. Um, it's not quite the two and a little over half that we need, but we're getting close. We're gonna we're gonna get there. Probably not by the end of the stream, but you know we're we're, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get there at some point. For right now, we need to find our monster ball of monsters, which is probably also inside of my magic white bag of useful things and we need to go track down three more crabs and I'm going to run out of levels. I'm only level 12. I mean immediately I've spotted one. Do we want all of the, the patrons to be the... I feel like they all need to be the same animal because the last thing you want and I keep saying patrons. They're not patrons. They're channel members. The last thing you want is for one of them to like not be a crab and feel left out. So I think I know the order in which everyone signed up. But just in case I'm wrong, let's go ahead and pull up the members page. By the way, thank you everyone for making the last video the... Uh oh my gosh, we have a new member. Oh my, I did not realize this. Or did someone change their name? I think someone changed their name is what's happened there. Which is a choice. Okay. All right. That's fine. We're not going to freak out about it. But our second member was Purple Lemons, so we're going to go get another name tag. And we're going to need three more of these. Can I do three at a time? Well, no, that wouldn't make sense because they all have to have a different name. So never mind. I take that back. Well, while we're up here, we're going to do Purple Lemons. Lovely. We're going to do our third YouTube channel member. Maria Amor. And we're going to do our fourth channel member. And he's done a name change. It's Jake Yates now. And I think that's actually Jake from State Farm, if I'm not mistaken. So there we go. We've got them all in a row. And that was... Um, gosh darn it. Now that he's changed his username, I can't remember what his name was. <laughs> What was his channel name? Dake Tora. Dake, I don't know if you wanted me to use your... your I mean, you changed your channel name. Do, do, should we have done Dake Tora? Technically, it's still... Like, the channel... I don't know. He changed his channel. I don't know. I don't know what to do. What do you folks think? Should we maybe do Dake Tora? Okay, first off. Purple Lemons is in the house. Okay, let's go out and get ourselves another crab. Hey there, Dino Kraken. What a username. What an absolutely legendary username. I love that. Welcome to the live stream of Existential Dread, where we try to hunt down another crab. Also, we should probably not just leave the crabs in the basement. We should probably have, like, a cool crab rave location. So first off, Maria Moore. How you doing? Welcome. We're going to take you into the basement as well. We're going to have to build, like, a cool crab party zone for all these guys. But for now, they can all just hang out down here in the basement. It'll be fine. There you go. And then, I don't know. I, I, I mean, it's not like Dake's name has been a secret. I wouldn't have said it out loud. It, that is you, Purple Lemons. You're right. He mentioned it in the last live stream. It was in the chat and everything. So I don't think that it's any kind of secret. But at the same time, I know him as Dake Tora. And that's what I feel compelled to name it. And he's not here to tell me one way or the other. So we're just going to do Dake Tora for now. And if he requests a name change, we will name change. But... At the moment, we are going to go find one last crab. 
also he's, he, he's that's what he's been shouted out as most of the time so we're gonna take him down into the basement you has been hunted maria moore that is correct you has all right everybody party time now we need to figure out like a permanent living location for them because they're not really i think long look at this guy look at this dude look at him the endermen are not right here they're not normal he's just going for a swim things aren't right in this world and i'm not happy about it where did lucas go where, where is he there he is come here you you cannot be antisocial. I demand that you come hang out with all of the other channel members. Here we go. There you are. Now everybody do 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 is the crab dance what is it called? Hold on, is that like copyright free? We gotta figure this out, let's see. Can't remember what the name of it is. Noise Storm Crab Rave. Is Crab Rave free? Doesn't strike video, so I think you're good. Okay. I mean, that's not a definitive yes, but I think that's enough for us to do, like, maybe a couple seconds. Hold on. I've got to configure the desktop audio. Give me a second here. Uh, de default device is not going to cut it. You need to be this. There we go. Okay, everyone, you ready? We do a little bit of a dance session. With all of the, uh, with all the channel members. Boy, this video has, like, quite the lead up, doesn't it? Here we go. Every time I change the tab, it cha pauses the video. My bad. This is great. This is everything I ever wanted. That's enough. <laughs> this was... This is what you all come to the <laughs> This is what you all wanted from the live stream, is that right? This is what you all had planned. Like, oh good, Reese is live. I hope we're doing a crab rave. That's what I'm looking forward to. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what is my favorite mod from Tekka 2 so far? That's a great question. Um, I think the one that I love most is the, uh, I mean, this is going to be such a, a ridiculous answer. I love Swift Swift Rending Gale because it lets me fly. And it is from Project E, which helps me build things more quickly. So I'm going to go with Project E. Uh, yeah, no, I killed it at the drop. I'm sorry. I apologize. Listen, is that a problem? I mean, we can do a crab rave again in a bit. I'll tell you what, we'll do the drop. After we figure out where to set up, like, the permanent, the crab corral. I don't do, does the crab, I, I don't want to put the crabs outside in the forever rain. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like we need to give them, but I also don't want them to be in the basement. Because that doesn't seem appropriate for crabs. Like, they're not going to be living their best lives down here. Unless we, like, really spruce it up a bit. And, and maybe put them over here by the window. So they kind of feel like they're at home. That could work. Okay, hold on. You know what? I've got an idea. Here's what we'll do. We'll get some sand. Everyone, you just got to go with me on this. You just got to trust that I, I know what I'm doing. So we're going to clear all this away. And we're going to make like an artificial beach over here. Okay? So we're going to have some beach. And then we're also going to have like some water. Oh, this is actually going to... This is going to be incredible. I'm, I'm glad that I've started this project now. Because in my mind's eye, it's already taking shape. And in the splinter of my mind's eye, I see a cancelled Star Wars scene. Well, did you guys know that the novel, the first ever Star Wars novel, titled Splinter of the Mind's Eye, 
was commissioned by George Lucas because he didn't think that the first movie would be successful, but he wanted to make a sequel. So he gave the story idea to an author to basically kind of write it out. And it was published really close to the release of the first movie. Close enough that a sequel was still not a sure thing. And that was originally planned. And, And the reason that Han Solo is not in it was because George Lucas was like, well, after this one falls apart and everybody hates it and hates me, Harrison Ford's not going to want to come back to do another one, so I'll make sure he's written out of the sequel. So he's like name-dropped, but that's about it. And it's just Luke and Leia on a swap planet that you imagine would be really easy to shoot on a soundstage uh, for not a whole lot of money. And that is the reason that Splinter of the Mind's Eye is the way that it is. Uh, that's a fun fact for you. Another fun fact for you from Star Wars. Uh, Adam, by the way, welcome to the chat. Uh, George Lucas thought the movie was going to be a disaster. He actually left the country for its premiere. He was not here. He was on a beach in a different state when the movie was released and was shocked to find out that people loved it and it was a success. So <laughs> there you go, folks. Maybe sometimes you just got to be a little bit more confident in yourself, you know? Put, put yourself out there and good things will happen, okay? That's what I'm saying. That's the that's what we that's our takeaway from George Lucas, is you might think that what you've made is terrible, but it might become like one of the greatest cinematic masterpieces of our time. I sometimes think that about my own writing, not to toot my own horn, but I used to write a lot in high school. Not like poetry or anything cringe like that. Uh, much worse, fantasy novels. And I used to think as I was writing them that they were really bad. But I've recently gone back to reading a lot of them, and I've actually found myself being somewhat moderately impressed with the writing uh, and realizing that I I actually had a bit of a knack for it. Now, I don't anymore. (laughs) I've tried to write since, and it's gone. I can't do it. I'll read things that I wrote back then, and I'll think, man, wish I still had that ability, whatever it was. Wish I knew where that ability went. But it's not coming back, sadly. Uh, But there you go. So what I'm trying to get at here is you just got to have a little bit more faith in yourself. And you too can realize at some point in an undisclosed future uh, that you used to be good at something and you aren't anymore. So look at this. We've got ourselves a nice little beach. And we kind of want to section this off. Okay, so let's get ourselves some... They're not carpenter's blocks. What are they? They're like fence, gate, reinforced framed fence. That's the ticket. We want it to be reinforced. This isn't to keep them trapped, by the way. I don't want anyone getting the wrong idea. I'm not trying to keep the crabs trapped on this side of the room. I'm trying to make sure that things can't get to them and cause them harm. So we're going to put down this lovely fence. And we're not going to put a gate in it because we can fly. Well, you know what? No, one of our design decisions has always been that we have... Do we do we not have... That was the framed fence. Do we not have framed gate? Should we make framed gate? Does framed gate exist? Um, reinforced frame. This frame. So so framed wall and and okay. All right, that's fine. Like I, we can just have stairs or something. It's okay. GSNL, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? All right, so now we want to kind of blend this in. I guess, do we want to blend it in with the marble, or do we want to make it out of sand? Probably not that. Probably not that last one. We'll do marble. And if we decide we hate it, we might swap it out to a wall at some point, because I actually do think I like the aesthetic of the wall a little bit better. But, and I don't mean Pink Floyd's the wall. I mean the nostalgia critics. <laughs> uh, is a reference no one's going to get. Uh, Do we have some lights? We do. I noticed that it was very dark in this one particular spot. I'd like to add just a little bit of light there. A little bit of illumination. Lovely. And then, I don't like the current placement of this lamp. I think what I would rather do is have a lamp be in the water. So, get rid of that. Get rid of that. And we'll have a lamp maybe there and there. Yes. See, now we're getting to a place where I'm really digging the aesthetic of this. This is good, okay? This, this is good. I, I don't want that to touch, though, is the only issue. I want them to be kind of an equidistance. Equal distance? Eh, whatever that would be. There we go. Okay, but then I hate that this is like the way it is. 
So I'm going to put another block of sand there. And then I hate the fact that the water's messed up now, so we're going to fix that. Boom. All right, what else do crabs like? What, what do you need for pet crabs? Build a palm tree. Oh, I can do that. Okay, yeah. Hold on. Let's see what types of wood we've got. That's a brilliant idea, Nick. That's actually that's actually brilliant. So let's see wood. What, what are my options? I mean, maple is obviously the go-to. Ooh, like a red cherry wood palm? I mean, I understand that's not what palm woods are made out of. But my thinking is that crabs are red. The cherry wood's kind of red. I mean, jungle wood would probably be more aesthetically correct. Then again, I don't know. There's a ton of different options here. Uh, let's just go ahead and... I mean, I'm actually kind of liking just the look of the... Hold on, let me clear some of this out. I'm going to get all these out here. Okay, here's our options, everyone. We can have a maple wood pie, a palm. We can have ourselves a cherry wood palm. We can have a jungle wood palm, which is probably actually the most palm looking of them all. You know what? I've already made the decision that it's going to be jungle wood because it looks more like a palm tree. It's not spot on, but it looks pretty palm tree esque. So let's get rid of all this and let's just get ourselves some more jungle wood. And then we don't have jungle wood leaves is the only problem. But we can get those. Let's see, bone meal. We can do that right now. We can just have to hop outside and plant this tree. Now, I know that there's a way to get the chainsaw into collect leaf mode. <laughs> I don't know why I thought one would be enough for that. I don't know where in the recesses of my mind that seemed to make sense. But let's see, how do we do that? Is that C? Is it G? Is it F? Oh, it's not F. V. Shift V. G. B. R. Was it actually R? No, it's just already in that mode. I don't know what R did. I have no clue at all. Oh, maybe R cut down the whole tree. Maybe that's what R does. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We've got some jungle wood leaves now, though, so we can get like a stack of those. And uh, we've got 14 jungle wood. Wood instead of logs. I don't know about that. Seagrass? We don't have seagrass, I'm sorry to say. I wish that we did. That would be pretty good. I, I, I regret to inform that that is not an option. Uh, we might be able to find some kind of a weed, though, to put in there, perhaps. Okay, palm tree, baby. Let's go. How about right here? And uh, what we can do is... Well, no, no, it's immediately gone downhill. There we go. I mean, they're mostly straight. Oh, you son of a gun. You're going to be like that, aren't you? That's fine. I'll punch it. I don't care. Watch me. I don't care. I got, I got old diet. And then we can have... Just you wait. Look at this. This is perfect. Oh, actually, that looks terrible right there. So that'll be a little bit longer. Oh, actually, no, it looks terrible now. I think we've made a horrible mistake. If I do that, does that look okay? See, see now, it... it Okay, this was obviously a mistake, what I did here. This was a terrible idea. I thought I was being clever and maybe a little bit quirky, but what we've actually done was a disaster. So we're going to do away with that right now and just have it be that. And that looks much better. That, that looks like a little palm tree. Okay, good. And should we have a second one maybe on the other side here? I feel like we probably should. I don't want them to be lined up, though. I want them to be staggered slightly. So let's, let's bring out the sand a little bit more. And, you know, the crabs need more sand space. Just they, they gotta, you know, crabs are a lot like cats. A lot of people don't know this, but they actually like to, like, bury their poop in the sand. If you ever see a crab on the beach, they, they use their, their claws to do big scoops, and then they, like, sh sh uh, shuttle? That's not the right word. Huddle? Scuttle? Scuttle! They kind of scuttle over it. And that's where they do the, uh, that's where they do the poop. And then they bury it again with their little back legs. I made all that up. That's not true. But you can picture it in your eye, can't in your mind, can't you? And, it, and it's adorable when you think about it. 
you kind of wish now that it was a thing. Is this tree going to be taller than that one? I think that it is. And I think that that's a choice that we're going to stick with. It, or, or is it actually the same size? Presently, it's the same size, but we're going to make it bigger. We're going to have a little bit of asymmetry going on here. I, I'm sorry, you want me to you? <sighs> All right, look, I'll, I'll build one. I'll build one just to see what it looks like. But I make no promises, okay? Now, the real question here that we need to address, and this is a serious issue, is whether or not, because this is a taller tree, is it going to have, like, bigger palms on it? Because it kind of might look silly. Well, I mean, it kind of looks okay. I wonder, should we have leaves that go out like this? Uh, no, we shouldn't. No, I've made that decision. Can I use, like, a drill for this? Yeah. Yeah, no, that was a terrible decision. This is good. This is good. I like this. We're going to leave it at that. And then, just for the sake of experimentation, we're going to go ahead and cut this tree down. And we're going to do exposed wood. And we're going to see what that looks like. Just kind of over here as an, an experiment. Look, I'm not saying I dislike it, you know? I, I, I can see I can see what you're going for there, Nick. I just I'm not entirely sure if it's the aesthetic we want to go for in this situation. So I'm not telling you you're wrong to like it. I just it's not necessarily what we're gonna go with. Okay, so we got all that cleared out. We got some trees. Did we have any other suggestions? I know that uh, a suggestion for like some kind of grass in the water was made. I'm not really sure how to go about doing that one. He had the right idea, it just needed to be one higher. Hmm. I kind of feel like maybe on this tree they should be a little bit long. I, they're done. It's done. What's done is done. Let's see. Don't you have that infinite water thing? Would use dark matter to make it. How do you mean infinite water? Oh, you know what would be cool, though? And this is not at all what you were talking about, I realize. But it would be cool if we had a water feature. You know? So if we got, like, a bucket. And we just had water there. And we broke this. Look at that. So just have, like, a little, little fountain of water right there in the middle. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's all coming together now. Okay, now we got to move all of the members in. So... It's a good thing we only have four of them, because otherwise this would be maybe a bit on the cramped side. Where is everybody? I think that was Lucas we just put in there. So we got Dake here. There you go. We have Purple Lemons. And then Maria Moore, where have you gone? Where have you wandered off to? Where have you, where have you scuttled off to? It's the problem with this basement. Things could just go anywhere and be anywhere. Maria Amor, what are you doing over here? This is the Lucas Kitt's corner of loneliness and sadness. you got to be over here in the party room now. To tree or not to tree? Ooh, beach chairs. Okay, we can do that. All right, hear me out. We have the reinforced uh, stairs. So we can use those. And then we can get, like, some fun, wacky colors. Waterlog blocks. I'm not sure if you can do that in this version of Minecraft. Uh, man, how cool would it be if we could have these sitting at an angle and going along these three here? How good would that be? Oh, we can't, though. So we'll have to just put them, like, over here. Maybe just three of them ought to do it. And then we can do some, like, wool. I don't know what wool colors. Oh, we have some great wool colors. These are all fun in the sun colors. Yellow, green, red. Let's go. So there we go. We got some chairs by the beach to lounge in. How about that? Maria Moore, you were hiding. You definitely were in the Lucas Kitts corner of sadness and loneliness. Okay. You know what? They need food. What do crabs eat? I think like fish. Do they, do, do they eat fish? What to feed a crab? We're not looking for what they eat in, in nature. Uh... Crustaceans. They are, aren't they crustaceans? Oh, that's disturbing. 
a small fish, shrimp, prawns, and krill. Dead animals. Squid and whelks. Small clams and mussels. Didn't Aunt Marge get sick from eating a funny whelk? And didn't she write a postcard about it in the third Harry Potter movie? Marge is ill. Ate a funny whelk. I think that's right. Seaweed and algae. Okay. Well, I, I, I don't know if we have seaweed. I don't know if we have any kind of weed. Well, I'm, I mean, let's see what we got here. What are you? Uh, oh, you know what? Vines might be a, a, an interesting choice here. I, I don't know if we have any of those. Let's see. We don't. Can we make them? We might be able to make them if we have, like, certain ingredients. UU matter can be used to make vines. I mean, that seems like a waste of UU matter, considering <laughs> we're trying to save it up right now. How are we doing on that, by the way? We've managed to get eight. So in all that time since the last time we were down here... Oh, good, this has stopped running. I guess we weren't really getting as much as I thought we were. Now, I guess, is a golden opportunity to just grab a couple of more of these and uh, just slap them on. There we are. So that should be moving quite a bit faster now. Bang. Yeah, that's going to be much quicker. This is going to start filling up. This is going to start speeding up. Everything's going to be fine now. Should we grab, like, just one more and stick it on the back while we're in the area? I suppose we ought to. It, it, we've sort of got a responsibility. Oh, we can't. We've maxed out all the sides. I mean, I guess the only other option now would be to, like, move all of these to the top. And then use a relay. A Mark III relay would be ideal. And we can do that. That's not an issue. Hold on. There we go. Probably should have been doing it from the beginning, honestly. Although, I mean, it definitely seemed like it was okay earlier. But this way we can get, uh, we can get five of these hooked on here if we wanted to. And we do get a slight benefit from putting... Uh, oh, you know what? We could stack relays. We could stick another relay on top of this relay and surround it with even more. Although I'm, I think there's probably a performance penalty for doing that. Okay, so we're at a point now where... No, nah, see, we really need it to never run out of iron is the only issue. So let's see if just throwing one more up here kind of gets us there. It's basically there. It's... Oh, but it's kind of not... Oh, but it kind of is. Oh, I think we're okay. I think that's fine. This is filling up again. Okay, let's walk away. We're going to walk away from it. Uh, wh what was I doing, though? I kind of got distracted. Let's see. We want to do that. Get ourselves some vines. And... Man... We've really gone off the rails on this stream, haven't we? I did not realize that we would be dedicating so much time to a crab rave, but here we go. Oh! Purple image, you're not wrong. We did just make stoplight colors, didn't we? I, we didn't put them in the stoplight order, though. It would be like red, yellow, green. We did red, green, yellow, so it's obviously different. But I do think that a blue one would be better than some of other options here. Oh, do we not have blue? Oh, we don't have blue, though. I mean, we must have blue dye. I mean, I think we can use that to create blue dye, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, light blue dye. Which one? Okay. All right, I'm going to put it to, like, a pole here. Um, if we're going to replace one of these chairs with light blue. Which color do we replace? You guys have to decide. I'm putting it in your hands. One of these is going to become light blue. Do we get rid of red, green, or yellow? We're not. We're not just making another one. We're not just making another one. Raw Dolphin, I know you just arrived. Let me go ahead and explain the situation. First off, I am live at this time, and it's insane. I need to go to bed. But uh, we're building a place for the channel member crabs to party and rave and have a, just a, a mad good time. And uh, we've got to pick another color here. It's because the recycler is at a slow speed. The more you produce, the more it speeds up. Oh my gosh, you're right, Maria Moore. I completely forgot. I totally forgot about that. That's right. We sh if we had a thing on it to keep it sped up at all times, that wouldn't be an issue. But you're absolutely correct about this. Oh my goodness. Well, 
Okay, so the options are we either keep it sped up, right, with a switch. But we'd have to use, like, a switch and then some redstone to make sure the redstone only went to this machine and didn't accidentally turn this one off. And we can do that. That would be fine and easy and super simple and barely an inconvenience. That would keep this at full speed. But does it need to be at full speed? This is filling up. This is never depleting. I mean, I feel like it may be obligated to, you know? I think we might be obligated to. Let's go ahead and get a lever. And we will get out of our bag of holding a singular red alloy wire. And then I think this will work. It'll be a bit of a mess, but all of this is kind of temporary anyway. Turn that on. And then this will speed up and it'll get infinitely fast and it'll be fine. This is all good. We're, we're going to leave now. Yeah, yeah, look. The, the, the beach chairs are off center. You aren't incorrect about that. Uh, but the whole room is kind of, it was built to follow the flow of the land and create the incidental horse head on this weird place. So, I mean, I, I could center it. I, I mean, no, it can't be centered. Look at the window. I, 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 even if I wanted to center it, it wouldn't be possible. So, I mean, I could add, like, another one off center here. I mean, I, I know I said we were going to get rid of one of these, but what if we did... I, what was the votes, by the way? One yellow, two yellows, and two greens. You, 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 this was done despite me. I'm almost positive. <laughs> Fine. You know what? New plan. We're, we are going to build another chair. And here's what we'll do. We're going we're gonna to take these down. So first off, let's get the wool out of them. Stop that. Don't be silly. We're going to move them around some. There we go. But the crabs seem to be loving it in here, though. I just want to throw that out there. Oh, we do have vines now, too. I forgot about that. So I'm just going to put some fun vines down. And, um, and by vines, I don't mean the funny short-form internet content. <laughs> uh, what's a funny story, Mark? Okay, if we wanted to do this in a way that was less disturbing visually. See, there is no center. So we couldn't center them. But we could do, like, one, two, three. No, I mean, we couldn't even really do that. There's always going to be like an odd gap. So we could do one here, and then one here, and then one there, and then one there. And there'll be a gap of two in the middle. But is that better? Does that dis is, that, is that less disturbing? And then we'll do like red, and we'll do blue, and then we'll do green. And then this is better anyway, because it's four chairs for the, the four channel members. So I, I feel like there we go. But then also now that's off centered with this, which can't be centered because the window isn't centered. I mean, I guess I could blow the wall out and move the wall over slightly, but the trees are asymmetrical. It's just a little bit of fun asymmetry for the whole group. Everyone loves it. And then do, are we going to put a squid in here? Should we just put a squid in here for them to eat? Uh, the Internet said that they like squid. I'm not sure what my other options are. Fish aren't visible in this version of Minecraft. Otherwise, I would just put a fish in there. And I would love that, but that's not an option. Squid, though. Can we even find one? Where's squid located? There they go. Okay, come here, you. There we are. Lovely. I do like that it changes the color of the, the ball based on what type of creature is inside. That is fun and great. All right, down below we go with the crab food. It's just gonna live inside of here now. God rest his soul, bless his soul even. Oh, he's trying to get out too, look at him. He's trying to just swim into the sand. He doesn't know his fate yet. There we, but there we go. It looks great, doesn't it, purple lemons? Yeah. This is, this is fantastic. Should we go ahead and just make all the floor in here sand? I kind of feel obligated to. It, it looks a bit weird with any parts of it being marble. I'm not going to get rid of the lights, obviously, but here we go. Oh, you know what we ought to do? Oh, my gosh. You know what we really got to do to finish this off? Is we got to have some, like, rave lights, right? So, so hear me out. Here's what we do. We get a timer of some kind. I'm not sure exactly how this will work. And then we'll get some different colored lights in the floor. I hope that wasn't repelling the crabs. That wasn't my intention. 
and we'll have them like flash at different intervals, but not like full screen flashes. We're not. This isn't going to be uh, like headache inducing. I'm just talking about like one lamp, one inverted lamp. Maybe even the ones in the water, and they can like flash at different times. Okay, so let's see timer. What are my options for a timer? What have we got? We've got the Minecraft timer, right? What is this? This is not. This is a Project Red timer. Is there is there something in Minecraft? A pointer, a cathode, a timer is probably what we want. I feel like that's probably it. What do you want? Can't why why can't you just leave me alone? Gosh, this pro the pro I'm I'm convinced that they've got another mission lined up for me, and they keep trying to send these guys in to talk to me about it, and I'm just not interested enough to hear them out. And I'm going to continue to not be interested enough to hear them out. If I just keep ignoring them, eventually they'll leave me alone, right? That's how that works. Hopefully. You'll have to let me know. I don't know. Lighting. What do we have in terms of fun colors for lighting? Hmm. Okay. Maybe we should do the same colors as... Oh, actually, you know what? Yellow and orange are kind of crab-like colors. As is red. But maybe we should do the same colors as the... You know what? Let's proof of concept it before we go crazy. They have a rainbow light? Wait, hold on. What? Oh, okay. What have we... Oh my gosh, what is this? So this is a, a Futura block. Which doesn't appear to actually be anything. Hold on, let's check inverted lamps and see what my options are. I'm not seeing a rainbow. I wish I was, but I'm just seeing regular old lamps. Sorry to say. Let's build the timer. That's what we need to do first. I, I keep getting pulled away from that. Set that recipe. So we're going to need to build all of these sorts of weird things. And I can tell you right now, I already know that we're going to need redstone. And probably redstone torches. And then I don't know what the rest of this is going to be. Uh, we're going to need to take some stone and cook it up into a circuit plate. Naturally. Regular stone. Regular, regular, is that regular stone? That's regular stone. That's probably too much regular stone, if we're being honest. But whatever. Oh! Right. You know, just stop. <laughs> let's not. Let's just, let's just not right now. It's, it's gonna, it's gonna get to be too much. Okay, so we have our regular stone uh, cooked into circuit plates. So now for this one, we're going to need just a bit of redstone. Let's build a few of them. There's no reason not to. We'll have like eight of them lying around. And then we've got, oh, of course, yes, the anodes. Build like nine of those. I don't see why not. A cathode, naturally. We'll build a few of them. Love that. Nine of them as well. Uh, a pointer. You gotta have a pointer that's gonna require regular stone, which, I mean, really raises the question of why I, I put it back inside of here, because I knew I would need it all along, naturally. Does the pointer have an EMC value? No, I thought it might be like a regular Minecraft thing. We'll build a few pointers. I'll give you a couple of pointers, guys. Ha 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 ha. That managed to make me two timers. What did I run out of? I think I ran out of maybe whatever that cathode was? Yeah. And then... I ran out of regular circuit plates. Okay, you know what? That's good enough for now. Let's let's give this a shot. Um, what if we just... Uh, let's see. What did we decide on? Or <laughs> what about we did a yellow and a green? Those are kind of beachy colors, right? Because, like, you got green palm trees and yellow sand. That's the logic we're going with. That's what we're going to do here. So, over here, we'll have the yellow light. Hopefully it works from below. Okay, well, let's not give up hope here, because it's possible that we can use a redstone... Hold on. Inside the bag of holding. Red alloy wire. Okay, maybe we should have built regular lamps? You know? Because I'm not... <laughs> not super sure whether or not this is the desired effect, is it? To have the always-on lights sometimes turn off. I don't... I don't... I don't know if... Uh... uh
<laughs> is it terrible? <laughs> it's terrible, isn't it? Be honest. The noise is also awful. <laughs> okay, we'll put our other one here. Hold on. Okay, so we'll have that. Uh, time interval every two seconds? I mean, I guess I could have it go every one second. I wish it would stay off for the same amount of time that it turned on. Please don't go down there, crab. There you go. <laughs> uh, it's... Yeah, yeah, we can have it go faster. There we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> can we build like a. Uh, that's the map button. That's the wrong button. Can we build a muffler? Uh, is there. There is a. There's this, but I think that's for muffling machines, unfortunately. What are, my, what are my other options? Uh, inventory and chest settings. I think there's a way in game to like, you can go into mod options or something possibly, and you can muffle certain sounds. But, um, looks like street lights flickering in the back alley. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. It looked different in my head, okay? It looked very different in my head. <laughs> okay. This is good. No, this is good. This is perfect, alright? We're gonna get the music queued back up. Hold on, where did Crab Dance go? Let's rewind. Um, can you take me to the actual music video? Here we go. There we are. Uh, let's see. <laughs> All right, everybody. Hey, purple lemons, how dare you? Being attacked by the crowd. Oh, look, they, oh, hey now. Look, they hate it. They hate it so much, they're coming after me. Come on, let's go. Let's go. We got the flashing lights. Come on, we got the, we got the squid in the pool. Let's go. The best crab rave of all time! Come on, people! Let's party! Come on, Lucas kids! Get out of the corner! Come on! Time to socialize! Get out there! Stop pinching me! Yeah! It's a real vibe right now! Let's go! Who's ready to eat some squid, guys? Let's go! Party time all around! This is probably nauseous. that was good was that was that everything we hoped it would be was it perfect how far away can I go before I stop hearing those things perfect here we go let's go see what it looks like from the out oh I'm so sorry I didn't realize you were still here trying to rehearsal her her you're hershling me you're trying to harass me look at this oh look it looks like we're looking into like a little biome doesn't it this is awesome just having a party maybe the next thing we can do is we'll actually like have a hole here like a little opening with like a, a, a veranda or something and the crabs could why didn't we just yeah actually that would be cool we can have it like a little a, a little deck outside here and then come outside and enjoy the rain how about that it was good right it was great Every, everyone loved the party time experience. It was wonderful. Ugh. I gotta figure out how I want to build that porch, though. Like, in my mind, I could just have a wooden deck coming straight off the front with some piers. Or I could do, like, a little egg-shaped thing that kind of comes out. And, and I do like that better. And also... I have to assume this was an enderman that did this, making my foundations look bad. Right, but what I was thinking is, like, we could do, a, like, a wedge shape sort of situation here. Not that. Not that. That's, that's all. We could have that. And then we could do the same thing over here. And... There we go. 
it can like progressively move inward. Um, oops. We're not building the whole thing right now, mind you. So something like that. And the bottom kind of comes out to meet it in a sense, right? So it kind of does this. Uh, let me run out of marble. And then instead of having like support pillars, the idea is that it's anchored to the house. So it doesn't need pillars. Because it's like solid sheets of marble. So basically that is what we would do. Kind of see where I'm going with this? Oh, GSNL's got to go to work. Well, thank you so much for joining, GSNL. I hope that you've enjoyed the crab rave and the wild partying and the good times. I hope I hope that you had fun here with us today. Uh, and, I, and I hope that you're able to come back in future and, and see where we go from here because I think we're going to have some weird and wacky times ahead of us. Hopefully. Okay, so let's get some... I mean, I said I wasn't going to do this, but it looks like I am just doing this. It looks like this is just happening. And I said before that we might switch to wall, but I feel like out here we definitely shouldn't switch to wall. Because I think it's going to look a lot better if we have... Because uh, crabs are short, and we want crabs to be able to see through the fence, and they can't see through a wall. But this... This is solid. Alright, there we go. So they can see through that. That'll be good. Oh, GSNL, that's so kind of you. I'm glad to hear it. So should we do sand out here as well? Should it be like a sandy outer walk? Does that make sense to do? And then we just have like a hole here. And then maybe we do a marble frame. So it like makes sense structurally at least. There we are. And then Oh yeah, come on out! Come on out! What do you think? Don't look at me like that. Who are you? Thank Tor, don't look at me like that. <laughs> don't give me that expression. I'm doing my best here. I, I see what you mean though. I do see what you mean, and I will correct that. I'm talking to the crabs now. I'm ta I, I can literally look into their little beady eyes, and I know what they want. All right, is that better? Is that more to your liking? I, I admit that, that definitely has a, a bit more of a, an aesthetic, to be sure. He went back inside, so I guess it's fine. Um, we, we're going to need to have like more lights out here, aren't we? I think we're definitely probably going to need to. I don't know. It's got a bit... At the moment, it's got a bit of a weird flow. And maybe if we got rid of... Oops. Hold on. Let's patch that up. If we had to just be like a sand walk out. I'm, I'm going to need you to move right now, Dick. Uh, don't... Don't snip me. It's for your own good. If you fall into this hole here, what are you going to do then, eh? Did think about that? Didn't think about that, did you? Stop snipping me. And so then we'll have some lights out here. So that this area doesn't get, you know, covered in monsters at night. Something like that. Maybe just, just a little something like that. And maybe then we also have a palm tree out here. Right? So we go ahead and we get ourselves some more jungle wood. As well as some more leaves. And then this is just sort of like, you know, people passing by can look over here. And they can maybe see the party going on inside. And, like, wish they were a part of it, but they can't be. And then that adds, like, a little something to it for the, the members. Because they know that they're a part of something like, special that passers-by wish they could be involved with. But they can't. So they're looking on longingly, and they're just like, Haha, sucks to be you, but we're the party crabs. Not everyone can be party crabs, lol. That's, that's the vibe. I don't know. I don't think they would do that. I, think that's, I don't think they're that cruel. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Oh, interesting. Ooh. Maybe I like when the leaves touch like that? Uh, maybe I like it more when they don't, though. Uh, let, 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 let's... Let, this is a much taller tree as well, so... Ooh. 
And then once we're done with this, I think we'll be able to take a step back and admire our works. Look at that. It's kind of funky the way the fence touches the tree. We might need to, like, widen this out a little bit. Make it a little bit bigger. Maybe the tree... Is the tree necessary? I don't, I don't know if the tree is strictly necessary. I mean, the crabs definitely like climbing the trees inside. But I feel like if I made the trees outside climbable, they would just climb and escape. We can't have that. Oh, but look at this! Dang, Tora loves it out here! This is great. And maybe we'll put down, like, another chair. In case someone wants to sit out here. And, like watch the sunset or something. I don't. I, I don't know what crabs do. Ooh, we got to be careful about where we place it though. If we place the chair here, could they potentially get on top of it and then move diagonally? Maybe that's not a risk we want to take. What? Don't stop. Go back inside and eat your squid. Like he's just swimming around in here inside of the sand. Eat up. Don't stop nipping me. What? Do, what do you need? Use your words. This, you know what? Maybe we'll just have like a nice little fun. Oh, wait a minute. Is it possible to negotiate that corner? It is. We won't have a nice little fern. I've changed my mind. Stop. You're making me uncomfortable. Ladies and gentlemen, the member's crab corner. It is beautiful. It is wholesome. It is lovely. It is... A, it has a slightly janky light feature, I'll admit. Okay, maybe not the best. But, I mean, can, is there anywhere else around here that you would rather hang out, honestly? Like, look, I mean, where do you want to hang out? Where would you, I mean, you want to hang out in this bit? There's nothing down here. This is a very sterile environment. It's this, this, this guy, this creeper can't even survive. He keeps vanishing from existence. You just got a plasma, plasma fire running at all times. There's nothing good here. Where do you want to live? You want to go live on, uh... You want to go, go live on the, the asteroids? Actually, we have kind of a sick asteroid belt, don't we? The, our little base right now, there's no structure built here. But... Oh my gosh, if it loads in, the computer doesn't melt. I like the aesthetic that we've got right now of just, like, this floating forest in an empty void. It's, it's definitely something. I kind of like it, actually. Maybe we could have put the... Maybe at some point we'll put the channel members on another planet. That could be cool. <laughs> you know what we're going to do? We're going to terraform a planet for the channel members. We're going to put them all on Venus. Now, I know what you're thinking. Venus? Hostile land of misery? Yes. But actually, probably no, though, actually. Although, I mean, it's not a, it's not a bad place, really. It's just, um... Well, that was, you could not ask for more perfect timing than that. It is a bad place and I hate it. Uh, the planets were a bit of a bust, weren't they? I mean, outside of the moon, which the moon is cool, but the moon's the only cool place. There's nothing on any of the other planets. They're all empty and barren and void of life. Literally the moon, gosh, these, these hitches. The moon is the only place where you can meet aliens. Now, they're not very interesting, a lunar sapphire for an oxygen mask? In what universe am I going to have three lunar sapphires and in desperate need of a light oxygen tank? Actually, on Mars, that would have been useful. But they're not on Mars, are they? What is that? What is that up there? Is that a, is that a thing in physics? Is that, is that like a distant... I guess it's just a bunch of gas. It's probably like a nebula of something. Yeah, there's another nebula over there. Okay, hold on. I've got to watch the stream and see whether or not it blacked out for all of you as well. It just blacked out for me as I was coming in, and then I was just here. I've got to see this. I've got to see whether or not my perplexed face matches what happens on screen. It's about to happen. For I'm watching the replay. Yep, okay, good. That happened for all of us. Glad to see it. Oh, it came back sooner for all of you. Maybe that's a sign of some kind. Well, folks, it's been a real one. It's been a good one. We didn't quite accomplish what we set out to do when what we set out to do was build a uh, a pesu. We really wanted that. We really wanted that really badly. We were trying a lot to get a pesu. Um, we're going to get there. I don't remember what my exact calculations were. I think I said more than 
like two two and just more than half a stack soon enough and you know the the big project right now the thing we're working towards the goal before we uh end the series with raymond card blowing it all up or something like that i don't know specifically we want to get a solar factory built and that's actually i mean the long-term goal build the solar factory over here and then build a base in the sky way up high away from everything on the ground where we can just have like maybe maybe a hidden secret teleporter that we can run down or maybe not even hidden in secret we'll just have one here with a, like a quick disable Ooh, we could set it up with like tnt so well hold on let me think about this we, we could just disable it on the other end instead of blowing everything up so we can like make a quick escape up there and then disable it so when the endermen come or the pigmen come or whoever lives on this island here and they want to hassle me about things and, and get me to go start a war for them or whatever we can just say no and leave and go into the sky and it'll be beautiful but that's where we're going to wrap things up for today we did do a crab wave you're absolutely right maria Moore. in fact i would argue that better than building a pasu we did a crab rave and it was a good time it's a good way to spend two hours on a random Wednesday night? Is it Wednesday? It's Wednesday. Thank you folks for watching. God bless each and every one of you. And I'll see you later. Also, thank you to our members for their support. Their names, again, are... I know them off the top of my head. Uh, Dake Tora, Maria Amor. Literally in the chat with us right now, Purple Lemons, Lucas Kits. Was that all of them? Did I miss one? Dake Tora, Maria Moore, Lucas Kitts, Purple Lemons. That's all of them, yeah. I don't do well under pressure. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go now. Thank you for watching. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you later. Bye.